girl shake Hey everybody, it's Stone here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Last episode, we took care of the Sea Slide Galaxy, right? I, I believe so. I believe it was the Sea Slide Galaxy. Uh, it was one of the, the beach-themed galaxies. It's been a couple days. Yeah, a couple days. Um, let's see here. Yeah, the Sea Slide Galaxy. This time... We're going to see what's in this 40-star galaxy. Well, we need 40 stars to unlock it. We have 72. Jeez. This is one of my favorite galaxies in the game, if not my single most favorite. This is the Toy Time Galaxy. Very iconic galaxy, indeed. But it's kind of late game, so it's not as iconic as maybe the Honey Hive Galaxy. Either way, we have Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser to take care of. So as I was setting up to do this recording, uh, I had <laughs> I had memory like flashbacks from when I was like really young. <sighs> Excuse me. Well, I guess you could say I'm really young now, but comparatively to what I am now, when I was really young. Oh, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. When I was really young, uh, I would always try to play. I didn't have the Wii. I didn't have, well, I didn't have my Wii in my room. I had it in the, in the living room and I would play it um, on, on the, like, the family room TV. And this was always a problem because there are always other people trying to watch the TV, of course. My, my mom, my dad, my sister, I don't think was old enough to really want to watch TV. I mean, every kid, I guess, can, can like, kind of watch TV, like Dora or whatever, but... She didn't really care that much. Now she does. But, um, yeah, so I always had them trying to watch TV. And, uh, there was also another problem. When I was younger, especially in the school year, uh, playing this game in particular was hard. Because in the school year, I, my, I, my uh, sleep schedule would get uh, accustomed to going to bed early and getting up early. And then the summer, as it is now, <laughs> going going to bed late and getting up in like the afternoon sometime so yeah during the school year my sleep schedule got used like my sleep schedule was get up early go to bed early so I got used to that on the weekends that's what I would do as well I couldn't really control it on the weekends I just get super tired just all of a sudden just because I'm used to it and um when I would get up early, I didn't really have anything to do except play a Wii. Uh, it felt like when it was getting cold out, when it started to be colder outside and, you know, maybe snowfall a lot sometimes. Um, I wouldn't have anything to do. I couldn't go outside. We kind of live in like a remote area, so I couldn't really, I didn't really have anybody to play with. So also, this is the introduction of the spring mushroom which is um, pretty simple. Uh, you just it grants you the ability to jump a lot higher. <laughs> I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on it. Um, so yeah, I didn't have anybody to play with. All I had to do was play Wii. But on these mornings, the way that my house is laid out, there are, um, there are windows, like big windows, uh, in the way, well, right, right next to the TV. <laughs> in the in the living room so when I would try to play Wii the way that the sensor bar works is using infrared light to sense the cursor and, and help you move it around and everything but you can also turn on a light bulb and use that as the sensor bar if you don't have one with you you can point the Wii remote at a light bulb or even out a window and that was the problem I would always, there would always be a window and there would always be morning light coming in uh, from over the, the hills and yeah, it was just a, <laughs> it always messed with the cursor. I just, I never worked correctly and I would get so mad because I'd have nothing else to do. And I couldn't play this game. I remember there was one particular winter where this game I just got for Christmas and I couldn't freaking play because of the sunlight coming in. And this part's very annoying because look at these sh guys shooting layers, lasers. He's gonna hit me. 
once I escape. Haha. <laughs> but yeah. Just a funny little thing. When I was setting up for this recording, I, um, I'm right next to my window in my room. My, my Wii U is up here. My room now. Uh, so, the window is right next to, like, my, re my recording setup and computer and everything. <laughs> and I had to close the curtains because I was trying to, like, point at the the screen to get the to get onto the game like I wasn't even on the game yet I was just trying to get there and it wasn't working I was like what the heck and I was I looked over I was like oh yeah this again it's always been a problem for me sunlight going outside in general actually that reminds me of where I've been sick lately I was actually supposed to go to school today I went yesterday I went back to school yesterday after being sick for a while um, but I, I stayed home again today uh, because it it was incredibly hard to to just not feel pain yesterday. Like I my so what's wrong is I have s like severe allergies. Like I'm allergic to freaking everything, and especially the things that are in the air when it's fall. The autumn is the worst time for me, and the spring's pretty bad too. But winter and summer. Are good winter is better than summer even because it's so cold none of the plants are living and producing pollen none of the allergens are floating around in the air so winter is an amazing time for me and I'm kind of happy it's coming up especially after all this but for some reason my stomach has been hurting lately I woke up this morning the first thing I heard was my stomach um, making some weird like gurgling noise and it, <laughs> First, it scared me, but then I was like, "Oh, it could just be I got a fart or something." But then, felt this extreme pain in my stomach, like I'd been stabbed, and I was like, "Oh!" And it just kept going on, and I thought I was gonna be able to, you know, tough through the day and just go to school anyway, like I did yesterday. But it just got worse and worse, and now I've been sitting down for a while. I got up to to take a break from playing Splatoon a few minutes ago uh, before I started this recording. And I went outside for just a minute, just a minute, and it was already a little bit difficult to breathe. <coughs> I'm coughing right now. It was already a little bit difficult to breathe after just a minute of being outside, surrounded by trees and everything, just all the things that don't like me. After just a minute, it's already hard to breathe. And after just being up and walking around for a minute, my stomach started hurting again, and I had to come sit down. And it calms itself a little bit when I'm sitting down, but not too much. It's it's very painful. I don't know what it is. It's, it's not the kind of stomach pain that's like, oh, I'm going to throw up, oh, I have diarrhea, etc., etc. It's not the normal type of stomach pain that you would get from a stomach virus. It's like a... It's, it's most likely like the, the freaking like mucus and everything just everywhere inside of me. Very annoying. Anyway, as we ground pound straight down through this giant robot we've been taking apart the whole time I've been talking about my illnesses, uh, it explodes. It's always a really fun thing to do is explode giant robots. What better can you get? Mario exploding giant robots. And I missed the star. Hip hip hoorah. Got that 73rd star, I believe. Yep, 73rd. Actually, one of the scariest things about this was about this whole um, allergy, asthma, sickness thing lately is uh, I've woken up for the last, the last four nights in a row. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even today, Mario meets Mario uh, is the name of this star. And uh, we'll see what all that's about in a second. Yep, right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the last last four nights in a row, I have woken up at some random time in the morning, usually between 3 and 4. The first night was at 5. And <sighs> yesterday morning, Wednesday morning, and this is the day that I went to school, I woke up at 3.30, c 
coughing up blood. I coughed up blood. That's how, like, bad my throat is right now. That it is so irritated and raw that... And it turns out it wasn't actually my throat that was bleeding. It's my nasal cavities, and I apologize if I'm grossing you out, but I have a pretty strong stomach, and I don't really get grossed out by a lot, so I don't know what <laughs> what is gross to certain people and what is not. I'm sorry, but, yeah, I just... It, Apparently my nasal cavities were, were bleeding and it was running down the back of my throat and I coughed it up. And it was pretty bad. And every, and every morning that I've woken up like that, I've had to get uh, get some medicine. And yesterday morning I had to gargle salt water. Ugh. I just, I, I hate being sick. But I am the sickest person, like, ever. I am allergic to eggs. I am allergic to apples. I am allergic to most kinds of nuts. I am allergic to freaking like most grasses, most trees, especially pollen. Good lord, pollen, get that away from me. I'm allergic to dogs. I am allergic to cats. I am allergic to most animals. I am allergic to shellfish and some other seafoods. Can't eat peanut butter. It's depressing, really. It's depressing life, but it's crazy. All we have to do here is collect five silver stars, and the star is going to appear back on the main platform. So yeah, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. And when I was younger, I'm not 100% sure about this, but when I was younger, I'm pretty sure I remember my mom telling me yeah yeah, yeah. I, I remember my mom telling me that when I was younger the doctor said the reason I was one of the one of my doctors said the reason I was getting so sick all the time was because like, I have a low white blood cell count and I can't fight off infections as well my immune system's not very strong so and antibiotics may not help as much anymore because I have to take antibiotics twice a day and I've been doing it for the last year. And it's not for being sick, it's for acne. Yeah. Acne's not that bad. It used to be horrid. It used to be just completely abhorrent, but... <coughs> Bouncing down Cake Lane. <clears throat> but yeah, now it's not that bad since I've been taking the medicine and, um brushing up on my hygiene. My hygiene never was that bad. I never understood why I had... Oh, oh, this is the kicker. I never understood why I had so much like bad acne when I was in middle school. But, recently I found out that when my acne first started, it was most likely because of a food allergy. As we know, I have many of those. So it's most likely because of that. The facial cream that I had been using to help get rid of the acne had a chemical in it that I was allergic to. It had an ingredient that I was allergic to. Benzoyl peroxide. I'm allergic to that. It was in every like cleansing agent, every some soaps even, shampoos. It was in every facial cream I'd ever tried and I was rubbing it all over my face and it was making it worse. And since benzoyl peroxide is closely related to just the chemical benzine, which is used to coat razors and other metal objects, like what we're bouncing on right now, spoons and forks, to keep them from rusting, I'm allergic to those things too. Even some toothpastes, I'm allergic to because of that. So all these normal everyday tasks that everyone has to do for hygiene, eating, etc. I am allergic to the tools that help us do those tasks. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So, yeah. Also, what the hell? Um, it looked as though I was on top of that, and I'm also confused at that level design that you can't see what's below you but you still have to jump anyway because there's nowhere else to go and 
Um, these popsicle sticks are... Yeah, like, there's nowhere... Okay, I guess you just have to tell by your shadow. Gotta dodge one of these things. Not too hard. One of these laser shooting things. And here... Here we get to ice skate! This part of the level is really fun. So... If you ice skate right here, you can just skate across these platforms. You don't have to jump, even though it looks like it. You really don't have to. You can just skate across them with ease. Wait, if you're at, are you if you're on the edge of these, are you out of range? Yeah. Interesting. Um, I believe there's something back here. Yep, there is a an extra health mushroom. And one of these guys, which I hate so much. Ooh. Lots of star bits we can collect here. Just in case I don't grab a hold of one of the... Got it. Nice. Lots of star bits. We're going to need those. The Hungry Luma waiting outside the engine room for us right now. And right here we have... A stairway of cakes. Of uh, spoons, I mean. You can actually put out all these candles. Interestingly enough. Put out the candles if you get on the edge of the platform and spin. These things are so annoying. Got that one. One more. <coughs> Launch star appears for us. And of course, we know if there are eight objects in a circle, we can spin in the middle of them. And bye bye. You're not getting me with fire. He's like, where'd he go? Tons of star pits. This guy again, one of the moles. Back in one of his contraptions, shooting things at us on a giant jar of gumballs. This time we have to use the Wii Remote that doesn't work correctly and won't spin when I want it to. I literally jumped, realized my mistake, shook the Wii Remote, and it didn't. for these things. There's eight of these things in a circle, but you can't spin and get star bits out of them. I don't know why. You just gotta jump up on top of them and ground pound. Of course. Like usual. And you can do it in succession, because it doesn't put you anywhere far away. But now he's got an electrical charge around him, so you gotta be careful when you're gonna do it. I think. Wait, does it hurt you if you jump up on a certain time? Yep. It hurts you and you lose your power up. I was just a smidge too late right there. Am I in the right spot to jump? Camera angles, please. I knew that was going to hit me. I knew that was going to hit me. The electric um, electric blasts are a little bit hard to avoid uh, when, when they're... Sh <sighs> a little bit hard to avoid when you're in the spring suit. When he has anti stormtrooper aim. Oh my lord, that camera! Uh, uh, I hate the camera in this game. I really hate the camera in this game. I mean, granted, it's not even better than Mario 64. Because in Mario 64, it's like a free camera. You can just freaking move it left to right whenever you want. In this game, it's like. Sometimes you can, sometimes we'll adjust it automatically for you. It's like, oh, thanks, dude. Let's go ahead and knock this guy out real quick. It's a good thing to land around the back of him so you can't get hit when you're jumping up.
Ooh, close. He almost got that electric thing around him. Anyway, we got the star. Plenty of star bits for us. Fires shut off. We got it! We can get a gumball out of that jar, too. But, okay. Seventy fifth star, three quarters of the way to a hundred. And now, as you may recall, there was a hungry Luma in the second star of this galaxy. I say we go back and get it. And my house phone is ringing. The landline is ringing downstairs, but there is no point in answering landline calls because they're all spam. I always say, if someone wants to call me, they know they have my cell phone number. But, uh, it could be a call from my parents. And in that case, then they need to get the message and not have me answer it, so. Trickery. Collect as many star bits as possible on the way over here so that we don't have to hunt for them. Ooh, I think we... I think we got enough. I'm not completely sure. Where was he at? Is he up there? Wait, did I already come from that way? Yeah. No? Did I come from this way? I am probably did. I'm probably just being stupid. Oh no, I wasn't up here. But this is also not where the Hungry Luma is. Also, let's not die. There he is. Okay, electric fences. Whew. It's close. How many do you need? Please don't say you need more. Okay, 50. We have 50. Hello? Look at me, you fat fuck. Jeez. He's like, if you feed me 50 star bits, I'll transform! And then he just looks away. It's like, I have the stuff. And he's like, no. I forget what the secret star is. <gasps> oh, it's this one. Okay. I got you, fam. I got you. Well, we might die. So this is a flip switch stage, um, obviously you have to hit all the flip switches in order to advance. There are some random star bits right here, by one of the gizmos. I actually love this song. So how do we get to the center? I forget. I think we just long jump from over there. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. He ate me. This camera angle is not helpful. Definitely not giving me advantage here. It's like... You can't see ahead of you. Run into whatever you'd like. And die. Go down here and go on the other part of this. Good lord, camera! Jeez. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Um, are there any? Yeah. Is it all of them? No, there's more up here. Then that's all of them. Holy God. There's more? Hello? Where are they at? Wait, are they over here? 
I probably missed like one random obscure flip switch like out in the middle of freaking nowhere. What is with this camera? Oh my goodness. I hate this. <sighs> oh. Interesting. That's still not it? Hello? Hello? What? <coughs> Ow. My throat really hurts. Oh, great. Now I gotta get. Ooh. Now I gotta almost die. Oh, there it is. Told you it was some random obscure flip switch on the middle of freaking nowhere. Look, that scared me. And look where we have to go to get the star. All the freaking way down here. Um, um, gravity? Hello, whoa, thank you. Finally got that star. I don't like that level at all. The Toy Time Galaxy is my favorite because of its decorations and its theme. Oh, excuse me. Yawning. 76! Nope. You don't want to save. Just in case something goes wrong with the recording. Oh, Fast Foe Comet! There is a fast flow comet here, and I bet you can guess which level it's on. Uh, you guessed it. Everybody's favorite. This piece of garbage. Again. Except the enemies are faster. And they kill you in one hit. Which they normally do. I'll go get this one first. So yeah, you gotta be kinda cautious here. With the crazy flipping enemies, Jesus Christ. You have to stay under them for one, I think. I don't wanna be risky and find out. Find out the hard way. As they say. Ah, uh, we risked it for the biscuit. And ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not waiting anymore. I wanna complete this quickly. I really hate this level. I just wanna get it over with. Wait, was I inside there? Oh my, are you kidding me? I can't go back out because the switching directions takes too long. Why is it blue? What the freak? <laughs> uh... Flip switches. Okay. Should I be scared? Yes. Um, I should be scared because I can't move the camera. And I can't see what's going on around me. So, yeah, I should be scared. Even these things move fast. Even though they're not really enemies, they're just kind of obstacles, hazards, etc. We still move fast because of this fast foe comet. Holy, 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 ow. 
Hmm. Oh, that was epic. At least these things don't kill you in one hit. I like riding on the treadmill. The box is very strategically and evilly placed. Wait, what? That was all of them? Uh, are the number of them reduced in this version of it? These things stop, and another one's... What was Mario running on there? Got him! Um, camera. Ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka camera. Please, 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 please function with me. Oh, I yaw after every star, jeez. There's 77. 77 stars. Good old 77. Favorite game now. Uh, anything else we can do in here? Not in toy time, not as of yet. We still have the boss here in the engine dome. We're almost done here, but we have the boss. We have this um, gold thing that's not unlocked yet. We also have... I think we need more. Somewhere. He is somewhere here, I promise. Because the game said, there he is. He's up there. Thank you all so much for watching. And next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to go see what the Hungry Luma has to offer, as well as um, the secret galaxy on the inside of the dome. See you guys next time.